Welcome to today's class. My name is Kayla Brugger. Today we are going to be focusing on opening and releasing tension in our neck, shoulders, and upper back. So you're going to need a foam roller today and then an exercise mat. So let's just get started seated. If seated is hard for you, you could roll your mat up Use a yoga block to kind of boost your bottom up or even like sit on a pillow or a towel or a rolled up blanket at home. So find a nice comfortable seat and then let's just stack our spine as tall as we possibly can. I'm just gonna start with three big breaths in and out. So I'm gonna take one hand to my chest and one hand to my abdomen so I can just really feel the breath. In through the belly, Long sides of the body, chest, back, and ribs, and then exhale, feeling the chest fall, the ribs drop, and the tummy muscles slightly engaged to push all of that exhale out. Let's do it again. And exhale. Again, breath in. And exhale. Next, inhale, move those arms out to a T. We're gonna start with a nice lateral reach. As you exhale, take your left hand behind your head and your right hand down, and then begin to lift up and out of your left side. Now, just be really mindful here that we're not rocking off that left sits bone. I want you to keep that left hip down and actively reaching into your mat, and then pull your elbow up here. Good. We're gonna inhale, sit up nice and tall. You can keep your hand on the mat or take that right arm out to a T. As you exhale, bring it down and add that nice little lateral reach. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. To exhale, lift the ribs up and away from your hips. Let's do two more of these and then we're gonna add some rotation to it. Exhale. One more breath in and exhale. Let's hold here. I want you to keep your right arm nice and straight. And then as you exhale, again, keep that left sits bone down, but you're gonna turn and rotate and try to bring your left elbow towards your right elbow crease without bending or rocking off of that left sits bone. We should feel a really big stretch across your mid and upper back there. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Inhale, open. Notice how you're kind of at a diagonal from your elbow to your palm, and then exhale, rotate, elbow to crease there. Inhale, open, and then exhale, rotate. Inhale, open, and exhale, rotate. Beautiful. Let's go two more. And last one, exhale. Inhale, open. Let's move back to your T. Now changing sides. Right hand goes behind your head. Stay nice and tall. Exhale, starting with that nice lateral reach, lifting the elbow up and away, and then pressing that right sits bone down. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, to exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last two. Lift up and out of your right side body, and one more, adding the rotation here. We're gonna stay in that diagonal reach. On your next exhale, add the rotation, keeping those sits bones down. So really feeling that stretch across your mid and upper back as you twist. And exhale, feel like you're pulling your left rib back Noticing how you feel like you're kind of wringing out your spine and twisting through your lungs like a wet washcloth for three. And exhale two. And last one. Inhale to open and come back to your tall T and then relax those arms down. Let's go ahead and grab our foam roller here. We're gonna move into some spinal extension work. So go ahead and lay your foam roller perpendicular to your mat, and then you're gonna turn so you're facing the front edge of your mat, and then just begin to lie back, reclined on your roller, and I want you to start with your roller underneath your shoulder blades. So you feel like your shoulder blades are gonna hang over the back part of the roller. Now hands are gonna go behind your head, 
Feet are planted down about hip width distance apart. Just some nice support here. You're gonna gently start to lift your ribs, lift your chest open and arch back. And then as you exhale, you're gonna come back up. You're gonna feel a little bit of work through the abdomen here as you come up, feeling like you're doing a little bit of a crunch. Inhale, opening, letting that roller just move with your extension here. Bring your head into neutral, feel the tummy muscles engage. So we're not tensing through the neck here. That's why the hands are there for support. It's really important as we're coming back up that we don't leave that head hanging back. That's really gonna tense those neck extensors. So we wanna get that chin to tuck back in and use our tummy muscles to lift our head back into neutral position. Inhale, opening. Elbows staying nice and wide so we feel that stretch all along the chest. Exhale, coming back up. Five here, inhale. And exhale, neutralize that neck. Draw your ribs down and in as you come back up. Now, if you're feeling like the positioning of the roller isn't right for you, adjusting the roller up a little bit higher can offer you a little bit more support. Adjusting it down is gonna increase your overall extension over the back of the roller. So just put that roller in the most comfortable spot for you. And exhale as you're returning back up. One more, wherever you're at, finish out one more. Bring it all the way up here. Lightly grab behind the backs of your knees. Pull yourself up and then come into a gentle counter stretch forward. Now let's begin to lie back on the roller again here, finding that positioning with those shoulder blades right at the roller this time. So we had them hanging off before, but we want them up a little bit higher now. Those hands again are gonna go back behind the head, support the neck, pull the heels really close to your bottom now. I want you to push through your heels, and then you're gonna start to roll the roller down towards mid-back, and then all the way back up to your shoulders here. Rolling the length of your spine, keeping your tummy muscles engaged. Go a couple more passes, making sure that this feels really good. Again, adjust your body as necessary. We don't wanna to go too far down past the mid-back for um, that, that rolling down, because that can just start to get a little bit sensitive there. So just be mindful of that. Finish out a couple more, keeping the bottom lifted. I'm noticing even as I'm coming forward, really bringing the knees out. I'm getting just a little bit of a quad stretch there, which also feels really nice. Last one, set the bottom back down, and then again, lightly assist yourself back up by taking those hands behind your knee. And then again, just a nice gentle counter stretch here. Good, we are gonna move on. So now we're gonna position our foam roller parallel, and then right in the center of your mat. Mm -hmm. And then from here, let's go ahead and begin to sit right at the front edge of your roller. You wanna make sure that when you lie down, your whole entire spine and the back of your head is gonna be supported by your roller. So just take your time assisting yourself back here. Again, you also wanna make sure that you're centered on your mat, that we also feel the neck is long here. As we begin to start with neck imprints, your arms will just be down, relaxed at your sides. You're gonna begin to take a breath in. As you exhale, without lifting your head off the roller, tuck your chin down towards your chest. It's gonna feel like you're making a double chin. And then inhale, lift the chin back to neutral. Exhale, tuck the chin down, and you're gonna notice the space behind the back of your neck is gonna get a little bit closer to the roller. So there's where we feel like the neck is imprinting down. Inhale to neutral, and then exhale, tuck. Inhale to neutral, exhale, tuck. Inhale to neutral, and then exhale, just getting that tucking down. Now we're gonna add on and we're gonna add a little press to it. So as you tuck, you're gonna add a little press down into the roller, and that should hopefully offer you a nice stretch actually up into your upper back by pressing the head down, and we're gonna do a three count hold there and then you're gonna release to neutral. Exhale, tuck and press, two, three. 
and back to neutral. Exhale, tuck, press, two, three, back to neutral. Exhale, tuck, press, two, three, back to neutral. Last one, tuck, press, have that hold so you feel that length, and then back to neutral. Moving into arm spreads. Raise your arms up about shoulder height and shoulder width. You're gonna find a slight bend in your elbow so your fingertips are lightly touching. Let's take a big expansive breath in. You're gonna open your arms nice and wide here. Keep that slight bend in your elbows so you feel like you're trying to pull your elbows towards the floor and you almost kind of feel like your shoulder blades are wrapping around the roller and squeezing against the sides of it. Really feeling expansive across the chest. And then exhale, bring those fingertips lightly back to touch. Kind of like to envision that I'm holding on to a big beach ball here. Inhale as you open. And then exhale, grab hold of your beach ball. Inhale to open. And then exhale, bring it together. Two more. And exhale. Last one. And exhale. Moving into reach backs. Arms are going to come down towards your hips here. Feel like you're really broadening across your chest and your shoulders. Again, maintain that slight bend in the elbows. Now inhale, stretch those arms overhead and behind you. Now try to keep that slight bend in your elbows so that you're really reaching out of your shoulder. The goal is not to reach towards the floor. The goal is to stretch and really go for length here. Exhale, your arms return back to your sides. We're here for five. Inhale, big, long stretch back. Really feel the expansion. And then arms back to your sides. Three, inhale. Two, exhale. Two more, inhale. And exhale, noticing how your core is engaging to stabilize you on this roller as well so you don't fall off the side. And exhale, now turning that reach back into a big arm circle. Inhale, stretch back and lengthen. Exhale, circle those arms wide and back down to your hips. Inhale, stretch back. Go for that length again all the way back and then exhale around and down. Three more, inhale. Two, exhale. Last one, right into reverse. Now inhale wide, reach back, go for that length again, and exhale the arms up and then down towards your hips. Keep those chest muscles wide and broad again. Inhale, big arm circle wide and overhead and exhaling back down. Last one. And exhale. Go ahead and bring your hands to your sides. We're gonna safely come off the roller. And go ahead and just gently lift up, push over to one elbow, and then just gently press yourself up. And just pause for a moment. Sometimes being reclined for that long period of time can make you a little bit dizzy here, lightheaded. I'm actually feeling that myself, so just take a moment to kind of let that feeling settle, settle before we move on. Again, moving your roller back to perpendicular, you're gonna come to your knees here now. Knees are gonna be really wide, like you're setting up for a child's pose here. I'm gonna have you place your hands on your roller as you stack your shoulders over your hips, arms are reaching out long in front of you and then just the tips of your fingers are touching that roller. You're gonna to begin to roll the roller all the way out. So now your forearms are on the roller and then go ahead and just bow your head down here, forehead to your mat, and then just notice the stretch in the shoulders. 
You're gonna let your head drop as low as it feels comfortable for you, making sure that your chest is in between your knees. And then we're just gonna rotate the palms up towards the ceiling, really trying to lift the pinky fingers. And then again, just notice how that external rotation comes out of your shoulders and deepens the stretch there. And then you're gonna rotate your palms down and then thumbs are gonna go away towards the edge of the mat. So internal rotation. And then you're gonna do the opposite, flipping the palms up, lifting the pinky fingers, and then rotating the palms and the thumbs down towards the floor. Inhale as you come up with the pinky fingers. And then exhale, rotating down with the thumbs. Two more. And exhale. Last one. And exhale. Now palms are gonna be facing down. Butt's gonna stay towards your heels. Now you're gonna inhale, lift your chin, lift your chest, roll the roller from elbow towards forearms to wrists, coming up into this nice supported spinal extension, really retracting the scapula, your shoulder blades down your back, lifting your heart, lifting your chest, feeling that energy in the upper back, and then exhale, rolling all the way back down. And again, Inhale, coming up into that nice supported spinal extension here. And then exhale, rolling away. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, lowering. Inhale, lift. And exhale to lower. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Now moving on to full extensions. So this is a nice opportunity for you to take this one step further. But if you felt like that was enough, do another set right there. If we start to lie down and it feels like it's too much for you, this is your option to come back to. So from here, you're gonna begin to move all the way down onto your belly. Your feet are gonna be about hip width distance apart, and then we're gonna stretch the roller all the way out. So again, we're gonna start with the roller on those forearms, and then now your head is gonna go all the way down. You feel like you're reaching into a long body stretch, really try to push that roller forward. So you feel your shoulders kind of rising up towards your ears there. And then do the opposite, retract the shoulders down without bending the elbows. Notice how you created some length between your shoulders and your ears. Push the shoulders up on an inhale. Retract the shoulders down on an exhale. Inhale and exhale. So this is a great exercise to do to get those shoulders to drop away from the ears. We hold a lot of tension if we're holding our babies or if we're nursing or even typing, texting, driving. We tend to have our shoulders up in our ears without even realizing it. So this is just trying to get those shoulders to drop down and create more length to release that tension out of the neck. So as those shoulders drop back on the exhale, push down with the forearms and start to lift your head up. Without bending your elbows again, you're gonna push down on that roller and start to lift and bring that roller to your wrists and palms. And then lowering down. Now your mobility is gonna be based on how tight and stiff your upper back is. So this is helping create length. So as you retract those shoulders down, inhale, you're gonna to begin to rise using your glutes to help bring you up and then lowering back down. Inhale, retracting the shoulders away from the ears, coming up into your extension wherever your range of motion is for you is wonderful. And then let it go as you exhale. So again, like I said, this one can be a little bit more 
intense. So if it's just too much for you, whether it be your shoulders or your upper back, then come back to that bent knee extension that we were in the exercise prior to this. Last one. And exhale, releasing down. Go ahead and place your palms underneath your shoulders here. Gently make your way on up to all fours. Coming into just a counter stretch now into cat. Go ahead and tuck your chin, tuck your tail, push your mat away with your hands and your knees, lifting the tummy muscles up and then just relaxing the head down. Last exhale. And on your next inhale, return to neutral spine and your comfortable seated position. Back to where we began class. I just finished with five shoulder rolls here, bringing those shoulders up to your ears, rolling them down and back, and then just do a, a little check in. Notice how does your neck feel? How does your chest, your upper back feel? Personally, I'm feeling a lot more open here. I feel like I have a lot more mobility in my shoulders. My neck feels looser. I literally almost feel like weight has been lifted off of my upper body. I hope you feel that same way. Thanks for joining me in this upper back, neck, and shoulder relief class. I'll see you next time.